Hey everyone, and today I'll be covering how your browsing history is really tracked online, what your internet provider can actually see, and how using a VPN changes what's visible to them. So if privacy is important to you, or you're thinking about how to keep your data safe from ISPs and advertisers, this guide will lay out everything you need to know. I'll also go through which VPNs have proven independent audits backing up their privacy claims, plus a couple of tips for staying protected well beyond just using a VPN. And if you want to check out more details or see any current deals, you'll find Find those links right in the description. So the first thing to know is that your internet service provider or ISP has direct access to everything you do online. This includes the websites you visit, the apps you use, and even things like search history and cookies. And it doesn't stop there. Most ISPs actively record and store this information, then turn around and sell it to advertising companies. That's why you'll often notice targeted ads or spam emails that seem a little too specific. And unless you're using something to block that, it's all tied directly to you. Now using a VPN is is one of the best ways to stop your ISP from seeing and selling this kind of information. When you connect to a VPN, your internet traffic gets encrypted and routed through the VPN servers. For example, if you're connected to a VPN server in Atlanta, all your browsing traffic first goes through that server and it's encrypted along the way. This makes it essentially impossible for your ISP to see what websites you're visiting or what data you're transmitting. Your ISP will still see that you're connected to a VPN, but that's it. They lose access to your actual browsing activity. So any attempts to log or sell your web history basically come to a halt as soon as the VPN is turned on. Now, there are still some limitations to keep in mind. While a VPN hides your traffic from your ISP, it doesn't erase your browsing history from the websites you actually visit. Sites you log into can still use cookies, your IP address, and other trackers to follow your activity while you're there. The difference is they'll see the VPN server's IP address instead of your real one. And for even better privacy, it's a good idea to use a privacy-focused browser something like Brave, in combination with your VPN. This helps cut down on tracking cookies and other ways websites might try to piece together your activity. Now there's one more important point to cover here. While a VPN keeps your data private from your ISP, your VPN provider does technically have access to all the traffic that passes through their servers. So if you're using a VPN, you're basically shifting your trust from your ISP to your VPN company. That's why it's so important to choose a VPN with a strong, independent audited no logs policy. This means they don't keep records of your online activity, nothing about which sites you visit or what you're doing online. And the best VPNs have had their no logs claims verified through independent audits so you can actually see the results for yourself. If privacy is a top priority, always look for a provider that's open about its privacy policy and willing to undergo regular independent testing. So when it comes to choosing a VPN with proven privacy and security, there are three providers that stand out for having independent audits and real world evidence behind their no logs policies. First is ExpressVPN. Express has had more independent audit reports than any other VPN carried out by firms like KPMG, PwC, and Cure53. In fact, ExpressVPN's no logs policy was put to the test back in 2017 when Turkish authorities seized one of their servers during an investigation. Even then, no data was ever accessed or extracted because nothing was ever stored in the first place. That's about as close as you can get to a real world privacy guarantee. ExpressVPN gives you access to over 3,000 servers in more than 100 countries, so there are plenty of options no matter where you want to connect. It's also known for being simple, reliable, and secure, with a strong focus on design. Almost like Apple in terms of how easy it is to use, Express uses the Lightway protocol, which was recently rewritten in Rust, for even more security, and all of their servers are RAM only, so nothing is stored on a physical hard drive. There's also a network lock, or kill switch, that's enabled by default for extra protection against leaks. Then you have NordVPN, which is another top pick for privacy and speed. Nord's no logs policy has been verified by Deloitte, and it uses the NordLynx protocol based on WireGuard for fast and secure connections. They use RAM only servers, so all of your data is wiped clean every time you reboot, and the automatic kill switch protects you from leaks. With over 7,800 servers in over 160 countries, there's a huge amount of coverage, so you can connect just about anywhere. NordVPN is well known for having a strong balance of security, speed, and reliability. Surfshark is a great option if you want the best value, especially for families or anyone with a lot of devices. 
taxes. Their no logs policy has been independently audited and those audit reports are available for anyone to review. Surfshark runs in 100 countries with more than 3,200 servers and you can connect unlimited devices on a single plan. It's especially fast when you use the WireGuard protocol and comes with a lot of features to match NordVPN, just at a lower price point. Now, all three of these VPNs cover you for more than just private browsing. You can also use them to access streaming libraries from other countries. So for example, if you want to watch a classic like Harry Potter on Netflix, you just do a quick internet search to find out which country offers it in their Netflix library, which in this case is the UK, then simply switch servers to the UK, head back to Netflix, and it'll pop up when you search for it. Because each of these VPNs offer so many server and country options, you'll have no trouble finding a good connection, though more locations doesn't always mean safer, just more flexibility for your needs. When it comes to price, these VPNs usually cost less per month than most separate antivirus or streaming subscriptions. With a two-year plan, you're typically looking at $4 a month or less. Plus, each of them comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try out the features before you commit. And again, you'll find all the latest pricing details and any available discounts linked down in the description. So hopefully you found this guide helpful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions or there's something I didn't cover, just leave those down in the comments below. I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.